Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pants, everyone who loves doing marathons. Welcome back to the part 2 of our course on creating a retro horror game. First off, I'm sorry for the delay in my upload, my SSD broke. Today we're diving into some seriously cool stuff. We'll be adding a first person character, adding a cinema machine virtual camera for that awesome handheld effect as you guys saw in different games. And we'll be fixing a bug that pops up when we add the virtual camera to our FPS controller. Plus, we'll make our game sound incredible with different footsteps on various surfaces. I recently published my own retro psychological horror game. If you like, we we're doing here you know creating a retro horror game you can also check out my game i would be really happy the link is in the description also don't forget to watch my series on unity tips and tricks it's actually packed with useful techniques that i've used in my game if you find this video helpful make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment below it really helps out the channel and keeps you updated with my latest contents with all those being said let's get started in order to add first person controller to our game we need the unity standard assets the asset is not available right now on asset store but don't worry i'll leave a link in the description for you guys so you guys can actually download this when you download it you're gonna be left with something like this to add this to your project you can simply drag and drop it like right into your project you're gonna be left with something like this and you're gonna check everything and just gonna click on this import which is gonna import our asset to our unity project okay now this is added to our scene and it's gonna give us an error okay to fix this you can select this and double click on it to open it up in visual studio so I'm gonna double click to open it up in Microsoft Visual Studio. So the fix is actually very easy. You just have to delete everything that is red here. I'm gonna just delete this one, this one, and this one. I'm just gonna save it. So we're just gonna say yes just for this file. So the script is compiled now. You can just clear anything. So the error is now gone. So we have the player inside it to actually add the player to our scene. I'm just gonna right click here, or click on this plus, 3D. And I'm gonna add a 3D train, a normal 3D train. I'm gonna select my camera. I'm gonna delete my camera. I don't need the camera right now. What I wanna do is I'm gonna go to the standard assets I added. I'm gonna open the folder, go to characters, first person, prefabs, then I'm gonna add this first person controller, FPS controller. I'm gonna drag and drop it into my scene. It's gonna be in the ground. I'm just gonna take it and put it maybe up here, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. When I go to my camera, it is like this. And when I actually play it, as you can see, I can move around. I can use the camera and everything. I can even jump. So that was for the FPS controller. But I'm gonna be adding the Cinemachine Virtual Camera in this one to add the handheld camera effect, which is gonna add the realism to the game and it's gonna make it more beautiful. And when I add that, as I said in the intro, it's gonna introduce a bug, which I'm gonna actually fix in this video. So no worry on that. So we need to add the Cinemachine to our project. If you don't have it, like me, I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and add Cinemachine to my project. I'm gonna go to Window, Package Manager. You're gonna find Package Manager. If you have other Unity versions, it is gonna be the same name. So Package Manager, you gotta find it and click on package manager it's gonna be open like this you're gonna go to your unity registry in the previous unity version it was usually like here but now it is here so you unity registry you can search cinema machine up here so cine machine it is actually this one i'm gonna select it and install it from here on other unity versions it was usually here but now it is here so i select cinema machine and i install to add it to my project now it's added to my project how do we add the cinema machine virtual camera to our projects i'm just gonna go ahead and select my camera in this fps controller is actually here you click on this triangle and you select this first person character is actually a camera what you want to do is you're going to add the Cinemachine Brain and Cinemachine Virtual Camera to it. You just click on this Add Component. I'm just going to say Brain. It's actually Cinemachine Brain, so you select this. What else do we need? We need a Cinemachine Virtual Camera. So I'm just going to say Virtual. As you can see, this is Cinemachine Virtual Camera. Now it's added to my project. So I'm just going to, you know, unpack it completely so I don't get this error. So this Filter View was normally on 60, but now it is here. You go to Lens and fill the view to 60. And you can't, you know, change the camera settings from the camera section anymore when you add the cinema machine. You have to change it from the cinema machine virtual camera section. Uh, for the aim, we need the POV. So let's go and check it out. As you can see, this is added. But as you can see, there's the bug. I'm looking here and I'm pressing W. It's moving that way, as you see. So I have a quick fix for it. We're gonna select our FPS controller. We're gonna find this script. It's usually like this. You're gonna click on this. It's gonna take us to our script. If you don't have it, you can just double click on this to open up the script. So double click here. So this is our FPS controller script. What we wanna do to fix the problem is we're gonna go here and add a section. I'm just gonna call it added. And I'm gonna say public camera. We need the reference to our actual camera and not the camera the main here. So I'm just gonna fix that. We're just gonna say public camera. I'm just gonna call it added fix camera you can name it whatever you want i'm just going to name it added fix camera so after this i'm going to go ahead and look for a place called fix update this is it right down here to fix this bug we're just gonna i'm gonna add a space here 
I'm gonna add a section here called added. Again, I'm gonna say added. So you guys know this part is added to. So what we want to do is we're just gonna take this. I mean, instead of transform, we're just gonna say the camera we set, the added fixed camera. So when it is actually moving around, it actually looks to the direction of our camera. This was the fix I personally tested out and it actually worked for me and I actually used it in my own game. So I'm just gonna do it this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna just do the same thing as this. I'm just gonna add this as comment. So the code doesn't use this as a function. So I'm just gonna say vector three desired move. The name is exactly the same, but here I'm just going to say added fix camera the transform the transform the forward times m underline input dot y plus added fix camera the transform dot right times m underline input dot x. As you see, the only difference is that this transform, you know, this added fix camera is added. What we want to do now is I'm going to select my FPS controller. It needs a value for added fixed camera it is here so we have to give it and this is our actual camera you can drag and drop your camera here you can just click on the circle and select your camera so now that is given we can go ahead and check it out so as you can see when i'm looking this way i'm pressing w it is moving this way when i change directions is actually going the same way. So that's how we add a Cinemachine Virtual Camera to our FPS controller. So the next part is gonna be adding different footsteps for different surfaces that we might actually encounter in our game. We didn't actually create a map right now. I'm just gonna, you know, add this function. So if we actually want to use this function, we don't have to write it from the beginning. Again, we're gonna go up here. We actually have a value for our footstep sound. I want a different footstep sound for running and a different footstep sound for walking. I'm not gonna touch this actual one. I can just copy this or I can actually write it but I just want to copy this so you guys don't have to write it again. You can just select it, right click and copy or control C. You're just going to go to this added part. What you want to do is just going to paste it here with control V or with right click and paste. We have to change the naming. I'm, ju I'm just going to name it M underline run footsteps. That's it. I'm just going to save it. We actually have a value for running. This is it. So we say M underline is walking is a boolean. So when this boolean is actually equal to true, we are walking. And if it is actually equal to false, we are running. We can use this function to check whether we want to add the walking footstep sounds or play the running footstep sounds we're gonna go down and find this play footstep audio i'm just gonna add a place for here what we want to do is we're just gonna check if you're running or walking so we say if m underline is walking is equal to false first let's check if it is actually equal to true so if it is actually equal to true we're walking so i'm just gonna select everything i'm just gonna copy and paste it here what else i'm gonna do i'm just gonna say else if M underline is walking is equal to false. So when it's equal to false, what I want to do, I'm just going to cut it, control X or right click cut and paste it here. I just want to change this integer's name. I can, instead of N, I'm just going to say, for example, M. And you have to change all the N's to M in here. Wherever you see M underline footsteps sounds, you're just going to have to change it to run footsteps. So M underline run footsteps. That's it. You can just copy this and paste it for everyone. Is it pasted here? We have one right here. Footstep sounds here. This is footstep sound. So all the M underline footstep sounds has been changed to M underline run footsteps. So this was the function for it. Let's go and check it out. So we can select our FPS controller now. We have a value, we have a, we have a place for our wrong footsteps. This was for the normal footsteps and this is for the wrong footsteps. So we can add two keys here and add different footsteps for them as well. So that's it. I'm just going to you know, go ahead and go here and just give these two, three and four to this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and check it out. I'm walking. I'm going to press shift. As you can see, the sound is different. You see, walking. So this was how to add the first person controller to your game and add the virtual camera to it and add the virtual cam and help camera effect to it and we fixed the bug. We also added a function for different footsteps on different surfaces maybe or different actions. I tried to explain it as simple and as complete as I could. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be very amazing. You can also subscribe to the channel to see more about this course we're actually working on. You can give me any opinions or comments you have in the comment section. I would be glad to answer them. I'm going to go do something for the end of the video as I did in all my videos. So this is what I created for the end of the video. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.